Snohomish County is, is receiving its first round of $1.4 million from a settlement with opioid manufacturers. Tonight, Executive Dave Summers is releasing his short and long term plans to help save lives. This after the number of fentanyl related deaths dramatically increased in the last five years, and it's something Summers knows all too well. Drug overdoses reaching epidemic proportions in Snohomish County. We're losing about one a day. King County's losing about two people a day. Snohomish County Executive Dave Summers' younger brother became part of that statistic in March. He was a very smart guy. He was funny, uh, personable, um, had his own contracting business, worked hard, but he was plagued with uh, substance abuse issues. Summers was 12 years older than his brother Alan and had left for college before his brother's home life got worse. I was 12 when he was born. Uh, my mom was just on her descent into really terrible alcoholism. So Alan grew up uh, surrounded by trauma and really mental abuse. You know, frankly, it was really a horrible situation. Summer says his brother was clean for 10 years until he died from a fentanyl overdose. It's a story that's told in many, many, many families throughout, you know, our communities. That's why Summers is fighting to address the problem. The executive's proposal gives about $670,000 towards more naloxone for first responders and grant funds to help nonprofits already working to address the issue. We've all got to kind of work on this and hopefully, you know, over time we'll figure out how to win victory over this thing. But in the meantime, you fight the battles. In the long term, $800,000 to go towards substance abuse education in schools and create mobile resources to provide treatment and counseling. As for Summers sharing his family's story, he says it's helping others share theirs. I don't feel any shame. I, I feel sadness. Nobody should feel shame about this. We just need to come together to help fix it, help these people. The county is set to receive $14 million of settlement money over 15 years. Summers is also directing the Department of Emergency Management to work with a multiple agency coordination group. The group has 30 days to come up with short term priorities and 90 days for a long term strategy to reduce the number of drug related deaths. Back to you.